A D S R Pro Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. Today we're looking at the new sampler in Cubase Pro 9 and what we're going to do is we're going to create basically just a little riser. So I've got a snare sample here and what we need to do is open up the sampler and drag and basically what that does is it puts the sample into the sampler and creates a sampler track which is basically just like a MIDI track uh, triggering a VST instrument. So Let's remove that track now as we don't need it and what we're left with is the sampler track here and what we're going to do is we're going to automate some of the parameters on here to create like a rise so we need to basically double click to create a MIDI part and we're going to pencil in a MIDI note and we're going to basically go back to the sampler here and instead of it being on no loop we need it to be on a continuous loop So you can hear what it's doing there and what we're going to do we're going to automate the endpoints of this sample to make the sample shorter and effectively creating like a rise so we need to press read and write automation and what that'll do any parameter we now move it will create an automation lane so let's just do that with the length so that'll do to give you an idea let's just make that a bit bigger so we can see move that to the beginning delete that one and let's play that back okay so you can hear what it's doing there let's automate another couple of parameters again let's press right and let's just manipulate the cutoff So let's leave that on a low pass actually and let's start with it being closed and having the filter open up. See how that sounds. So you saw there, as I was uh, moving the resonance and the drive, it automatically created automation lanes. So if yours doesn't do that, you need to press F6 and go into the automation panel, open up the little wheel and make sure reveal parameter on right is selected. That way, every time you move a parameter, so long as right is selected, it will basically create one of these automation lanes. I find that much quicker and easier for the way I work. So let's have a proper listen to that now. Okay, I think that'll do for what we want. I'm not going to spend any time on it. You'd obviously spend a lot more time basically perfecting it. What we'll do now is I like to render this in place as an audio file. So let's bounce that down. There we go. And what that's done there is basically, let's remove the sampler track for now. What that's done is basically created our audio file. So. And what we can do now is we can apply additional processes to that sound. Uh, so we could pitch. So I'm going to right click, process and pitch shift. And instead of it being on transpose, if you click the envelope tab, 
you can then select the range you want to pitch shift in my case I'm going to go 12 semitones and as you can see I've got a straight line going up creating a rise effect you could if you wanted select the points go down so let's preview that we're gonna go the other way and let's listen to that And additionally what we could do is put some other effects on there as well like um, just a bit of reverb and a bit of delay tail so I've actually got some sense set up in my mixer let's just open that up and I'm gonna select long reverb and long delay I'm gonna turn those both on and what we will do is automate those as well so let's click read and write automation on go let's hide that bottom section again and I'm just gonna drag these out just so we can see maybe just fine-tune a little bit So there you go we could possibly go into our track and edit a little bit as well and one other thing I'm gonna open up my mixer Let's just do a little bit on this as well. So there you go. Just a quick rough idea of the possibilities of little things that you can do with the sampler. I know it's a bit of a vague overview but it just goes to show you that this new sampler for me in Cubase Pro 9 will definitely be a really really useful tool without having to use any third party plugins. I've automatically created something that previous to this used to be a little bit of a chew on to do within Cubase. So I hope you found this useful and if you do have any questions please do get in touch and until next time take care bye bye. A D S R Pro.